Housing market has shifted. Have you missed the boat as a home sellers? Here are five tips you can do now in order to maximize the home of your sale in this uncertainty of the market. Hi, this is Sri to the Sai with CMS and Property, your DMV Realtor, and almost a two decades of a realtor who has gone through various real estate cycle in my DMV area. So what you can do as a home seller is here are my five tips or things you should do now. Number one, team up with the right realtor. I know I'm starting off because I'm a realtor, not really. As an old dog, I always feel like we have weathered different cycles and we have adapted so we know what it takes to sell your home in this uncertainty of the market. Also, I was reading some stats that about 2% of the realtors leave the industry every month. So you do the math. If somebody has weathered long enough, they're here to stay. Second is marketing. We're DMV area where the buyers are very, very tech savvy. So you want to give the right exposure. I have a marketing team with the marketing manager who designs each listing has its own marketing plan that will give the maximum exposure to my listing. So understand, sit down with the realtor and ask them what's the marketing you're going to be doing for my home. Third tip, let's talk about staging your home. I call the staging as the, as the most vital aspect to make you look good and as a strong seller in any market. Irrespective if the market was hardcore or whatever it was, I put a very big weight on my staging on my both my rental and for sale. The reason is because buyers do emotionally fall in love when they see a really nicely done home. So in order for you to put your best foot forward, again, sit down with your realtor, understand what it will take to get your home ready for the market. Does it need staging? Does it need painting? Does it need prepping? Does the home needs virtual staging? I have all the ingredients that I have designed over the years to get the home ready for the market, irrespective market can be. Fourth and the most other important component to get the top dollar will be your pricing. Please understand, sit down and where you are with your market and where your home will be if you list it at A dollar, B dollar or C dollars. I always promote it. If you have seen my past video, there is a pyramid that I always sell my home seller. If you want to be top of the game, you're going to get the lowest number of the buyers who are going to love your home. If you go right in the bottom, you're going to get many people, but they may not be the right buyer for your home. So you want to price it right. Apart from pricing it right, you want to also understand what the market is, how much um, other homes are in the market, what's your competition. All days, I used to go with my sellers to preview some of our competitors' home to understand how we stand compared to them. So back, let's bring out our old dusty habits, I would say, and let's talk about pricing a home right in this market rather than missing it out further. Fifth ingredient for me will be the mindset. This is the biggest one I would say you can do or do not do any of the four of the above. Mindset is a key thing to give uh, to succeed anything in life, I should say. So if you're a home seller who tells me, Ritu, I don't want to give away my home. Well, then in order for you to not give away, did you do this? Or how are you positioning? Are you accepting the reality that we are not in those heat of the market? The interest rate has gone up. Purchasing power has reduced for the home buyers. And we're seeing a rise of the inventory. So if you want to still sell the home, please keep your mind open. If a buyer wants to lowball, counter them. So let's bring out our old habits back and let's team up to sell your home. If you have any questions or would like to sell or buy your home, please call me 703-625-4949. And as always, thank you for watching my video.